One month ago I made this video telling you I was pre-ordering the Solana Chapter 2 mobile, did it pay off and should you get one, here's a quick video with all the alpha you need. So let's talk about the first Solana mobile quickly, the Saga. The original Solana Saga was extremely rewarding, it came with some cool features like a dApp store, non-transferable Saga Genesis NFT, cool phone design, it had a seed vault, but the most rewarding part was the airdrops. Not all of the airdrops show on this website, but currently the main airdrops for the Saga 1 totaled over $4,000, which if you bought the phone for $1,000, not a bad return. But now the Solana Chapter 2 is on the horizon and is expected to release in the first half of 2025. In terms of the specs, we currently don't know exactly what the Chapter 2 is going to be fitted with, but you can assume it's going to be an improvement on the Saga Genesis. Genesis had a sleek design, nice materials, looking something like a hybrid between an Android and an iPhone. It had a 6.6 inch display, 1080p with 120 hertz. It had a 50 megapixel main and 12 megapixel dual camera system with a 16 megapixel selfie camera. Now to be completely honest with you, for the price point, this wasn't the best phone. I think this works best as a crypto only, web free or a backup phone. The features of the Solana Chapter 2 will probably follow the saga and include all of these features. And they'll definitely have a seed vault, a dApp store and non-transferable NFTs included with the phone. I've already received two non-transferable NFTs and multiple airdrops. Solana co-founders already confirmed that you won't get the exact Sarg Genesis token that came with the original phone, but considering we've already got a Chapter 2 non-transferable pre-order token, I think it's going to make sense that we're going to have something similar built into the Chapter 2. And that NFT is going to grant you exposure to future airdrops. Currently, it's just the Chapter 2 pre-order token taking that precedence. Now let's quickly talk about airdrops. There's a leaderboard for Chapter 2 Mobile and you can earn extra points by doing referrals. The top 1,500 Chapter 2 leaderboard people have already received between 1 and 2 non-transferable element NFTs in addition to their Chapter 2 pre-order token. So far these elements just demonstrate your status on the leaderboard and they're currently being used to receive additional airdrops. They may have more use cases in the future but right now that's what it is. But if you're not an influencer or you don't have friends or people that you could get to refer to, the Chapter 2 pre-order token will grant you access to all of the basic airdrops for the phone. Now I pre-ordered the Solana Mobile over a month ago during the Founders window, it cost me $450 and they've now increased the price to $500 on the early adopter window. By the way, they'll keep on increasing the price, so the earlier you buy, the better. As of today, my Solana Chapter 2 Mobile has paid for itself, I woke up this morning to an airdrop of $210 of Mew, the other week I got $155 of IQ50, and the week before that I got $40 of Step. I've also received numerous smaller airdrops underneath the $30 mark, which I won't mention, but in total, it's just hit round about that $450 mark, meaning my phone has already paid for itself within six weeks of pre-ordering. Solana Mobile is running something called snapshots. That basically means if you get in early, you can partake in all the snapshots. If you're getting in now, the snapshot two has already passed, but there's gonna be a third snapshot. And different companies, dApps, applications, tokens built on top of Solana can sponsor these snapshots. For example, we just talked about my $40 airdrop on Step. Step was one of the sponsors for the snapshot two. There's gonna be more blue chip sponsors like Step in the future. But if you've pre-ordered and you've got the non-transferable NFTs, you'll be privy to meme coin airdrops basically all the time. And I think with how crazy the Solana meme coin meta is right now, this will continue to grow. Solana meme coins are going crazy and what's the best way for them to get exposure to new participants on their token? to airdrop their tokens to Saga 1 and Chapter 2 holders. I personally believe, not financial advice, that the Chapter 2 will airdrop thousands of dollars more this year. That's my thesis on why I bought it anyway. Now for the shipping and the price, remember the shipping is due for early 2025 and the price is currently $500 in the early adopter window. We don't have an ETA, but soon this is going to pass on to the supporter window and the price is probably going to increase to $550 or $600. The later you leave it, the more you'll end up paying for the phone and the more airdrops you'll miss out on. Now, if you're going to buy the Solana Chapter 2, here's how you can pay with your Solana Phantom Wallet. First of all, I'm going to leave my referral link down below. So if you do want to buy it, check out the description and copy and paste this website link over here. It will take you to the official Solana Mobile website. If you click on pre-order, you're going to connect your Phantom or Backpack wallet. 
This is important that you probably put it on a hardware wallet or a secure wallet because this is going to be the wallet where you're going to get your non-transferable NFT to. Now just fill in this information here. I'm going to put myself down as a user living in the UK. It's going to take you to Solana Mobile Shopify. Just come down here, fill in your information and click continue. Don't get excited. This isn't my name, this isn't my address, this isn't my phone number, and this postcode is for Buckingham Palace, so I haven't doxed anything here. Now, once you continue to payment, here's where things get really, really cool. You're literally paying on Solana Pay. So if you click Pay Now, it's gonna take you to Solana Pay over here. Currently, you can only pay in USDC. So if you've got a Phantom Wallet, make sure you stock it up with some USDC. Round about $501 worth should be enough. Now I've already pre-ordered and I don't have any USDC in my wallet, so I'm not actually gonna put this through, but if you've got USDC in your wallet, you basically just come down and click buy now and it's gonna pop up with a transaction for Phantom like it normally would and you just need to sign that transaction. Now, don't be worried if you don't receive your chapter two pre-order token straight away. When I pre-ordered, it personally took about four or five days for me to receive the non-transferable NFT. There's no confirmation on when the next snapshot's gonna be, I think they run them quite frequently, so don't be worried if you pre-order, just expect to wait a week or so before this appears in your wallet. And then you'll be able to start getting the airdrops from the Solana Mobile 2. If you finish pre-ordering, it's worth clicking on the pre-order button, coming over to the leaderboard and clicking on my ranking. Over here, you can find your referral link, you can copy that referral link and you can share it to people on Twitter, people in Discord, your friends, your family. And the more referrals you get, then the more non-transferable NFTs you get. And these non-transferable NFTs show your place on the leaderboard during different snapshots. And then some sponsors and some meme cranes will airdrop higher allocations of their tokens to people with these non-transferable NFTs. So if you enjoyed, smash like on the way out. And if you do want to pre-order the phone, be sure to head down to the description in this video and use my referral link. I'm out. Peace.